Welcome to the Game Audio Resource Wise Cube Guide Series. Game audio roles have hugely evolved over the years and processes are still evolving at a rapid pace. In some companies you will be expected to not only do great sound design, but also know how large amounts of audio implementation works, schedule and scope content needed for a project. Also to train other employees with a vast array of software, audio engines and process it can easily become overwhelming. This guide aims to try and generically formulate basic processes and principles. The guide has been created to assist people to learn the audio engine wise and how audio data processes and assets hook into the free open source game, The Cube. Please bear in mind we are working with a very limited toolset with a game created in 2004. However, that won't stop us creating all new content not available with the default based free game download package. Also, we will take you through other processes that you will most likely experience in game audio positions during a full project development cycle. For example, scheduling, pre-production, scoping content, post-mortems, etc. Hopefully the content covered throughout the guide series will aid more people to boost their knowledge to progress their own audio careers. So with that, what will this guide cover? The guide series will be broken down into content chapters, e.g. footstep, advisor, vocals, etc. Each video can be quite compact and will be speedy at times to keep video lengths as short as possible. To compensate for this, there will be a more detailed written guide for extra tips and explanations. Also, this guide will implement a lot of new features not available with the default cube game. Plus, we will fix a few bugs that often get asked about, e.g. the player character footsteps. We will also link to free audio assets you can implement with to aid this guide series. Obviously, if you would like to create your own audio assets, feel free to do so. Also, you could reuse the assets that come with the default project. On screen now is an overview of what we aim to cover with this guide series. The first few chapters will cover the basic setup and cleaning up of the project. Then we will look at scoping and scheduling the project. Then we move into the main focus of implementation related to sound effects and entity dialogue. Towards the end, we will look at the final mixed process ideas and finally a post-mortem of the full project. So before we begin with chapter 1, a few things to note. This guide almost completely deletes the default project hierarchy structure so we can start with a clean sheet. No new code will be added. No sound design creation guides will be presented for the base guide series. The guide series will focus on sound effects and a few bits of non-localized dialogue implementation. Music will not have a full guide for the base version, but we will take processes from music to implement parts of the advisor. Making games takes many hours to do. This project will take time to complete to get the best possible finished product. Due to the size of the guide, there may be the odd mistake. We have QA'd as best as possible. As a final introduction note, we highly recommend that you take the Audio Kinetic Official WISE Course 101 for basic WISE and sound effects implementation training. For music related content, please check out the WISE 201 course. These official WISE courses will aid your progress through this guide series. We wish you all luck with your future audio careers and WiseCube project. Please subscribe to any of the Game Audio Resource social media accounts to keep up to date with all the latest releases.